Hi, I'm Margaret, and welcome to Garden School. Well, the other day I went to this auction and I bid on an item that I got. I'm really happy I got it. A beautiful cedar planter that was uh, handmade, um, ready for planting and making a beautiful little item here in my garden, I hope. So I'll show you what I have and what I'm going to plant in it, okay? So this is the lovely planter that I got. It is a nice cedar planter. And the container for holding the potting soil goes about halfway down in this planter. So I am not going to use plants that would have very deep roots. Instead, things that would have more shallow roots. Now I've filled it with uh, just a general potting mix, just a general potting soil here. And then these are the plants that I'm going to put in it. Now this is Semper Vivums Hen and Chicks. There are many, many kinds of Hen and Chicks. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this cactus potting mix. It has some extra drainage abilities. And since these plants are succulents, they're going to want um, some good, good drainage. So I'll just mix that in with the other potting soil. Here is my arrangement of hens and the chicks. I wanted to alternate kind of the greens and the reds, but there are so many varieties. Um, it is hard to pick a favorite for sure. Now, I will say that my daughter bought these for me as an early Mother's Day present. So thank you so much, daughter. That was very kind of you. You know what I like for sure. So I've got my arrangement here. I think I will set them in and hopefully we'll get some, I mean, some shoots coming off. You can see the little uh, starts coming off of some of them already. And then to make it more like a native landscape, I just covered it with some river pebbles that I have and just covered the very top surface that'll act kind of like a mulch, keeping in some moisture, but also a nice look. And then I have some little tiny rocks uh, that gravel that I used for a terrarium. I'll add a little bit of that to make it look really natural and, and just like they would be in their native situation. Well, if you're like me, you also like to collect rocks. And I know that as I go to different places, the beach or whatever, and find some cool colored rocks, I'm probably gonna add them to my little cactus collection here. My little, I mean, succulent collection of Semper Vivens, hen and chicks. There are many, many varieties of hens and chicks and they will multiply. So you'll be able to put them other places or share them with friends too. Well, I hope that you have a chance to do something like this. I had a great time. I'm glad I got this planter at that auction. And it was auction was for a great cause too, to help kids at school. I hope you're able to do something like this. There's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.